Hi, I'm Tom Edwards. I'm the Chief Digital Officer of the Agency Business at Epsilon. And today, I'm going to be talking about what I see as the evolution of what the traditional marketing mix has been tied to the four Ps, to how the marketing mix is going to evolve as we see this kind of onslaught of intelligent systems moving forward. So for the past 13 years, I've taught a number of classes for various universities. One consistent course has always been Principles of Marketing. And a foundation of that course has always been the, the traditional marketing mix tied to the four P's, which is obviously tied to product, price, place, promotion. So as you think about this, this model, which originally started in the 40s and really gained steam in the 60s, really consists of this idea that the product is whatever meets the specific demand of a consumer need state. The price, obviously, is what a consumer is willing to pay. Uh, place is how they access the product. And ultimately, promotion has traditionally been how you actually market and communicate those products moving forward. But I see a fundamental shift coming very quickly as we begin to think about the role that the traditional four Ps have played as we think about this evolution of consumer-based marketing towards different systems um, interacting during this specific time as well. So in my mind, I see the four Ps evolving into four new territories. The first being psychographics, the second being predictive, the third being proxy, and the fourth meaning pervasive. So let's start with psychographics for a second. So traditional data-driven creative over the past year has really been using this idea of structured data as well as unstructured data, or the data of identity merged with the data of culture. One of the side benefits from this is actually being able to pull in and digest real conversations and going beyond traditional quant and qual research to where you can actually use psychographic modeling as another predictor to specific consumer behavior and how you could actually impact that behavior. So one way we've actually done that is we've done a lot of work with uh, machine learning to where we're taking unstructured data, data of culture, and then we begin applying that against various types of personality models, whether that's the ocean model, um, or however else we're going to visualize personality. There are a number of different methodologies. And we begin to get down to the nuances of the psychographic information tied to individuals, where we can really start making links between affinities. So this is going to be an incredibly important component as a foundational element of marketing moving forward. So it's going way beyond traditional segmentation, and it's the merging and melding of both structured and unstructured data that can help to drive to a specific consumer behavior. The next phase of the new four Ps is really tied to this idea of predictive, specifically predictive APIs. You're going to see a rise in predictive APIs over the course of the next year. These essentially are going to allow artificial intelligence and other systems to basically continue to learn different behaviors, aggregate that information, and provide specific recommendations. You'll see this beginning to come to life through various virtual assistants. You're already seeing brands such as USAA playing with different types of predictive modeling to where they have an assistant named Nina that can actually take, analyze various aspects of your specific account, provide recommendations back to you. So another key foundational piece for intelligent systems is having access to different data sources so that it can quickly process information and make predictions based on the various models that exist. So the second phase here is definitely tied to predictive. The third phase is proxy. So as we've got a foundation of psychographics and we truly understand consumer behaviors across all spectrums, we then have the foundation of predictive models and real-time APIs that can help us drive real-time analytics tied to customer service or whatever else the specific need state may be. We're also going to continue to see an advancement of virtual assistants to where more and more of our daily lives are going to be offloaded to these specific assistants, whether that is Alexa Voice Services, whether that is Google Assistant or Siri. We're going to continue to see the offloading of everyday functions to these specific agents or proxies, where at some point our interactions with each other may be more bot to bot than person to person. And this creates a, a new conundrum for us as marketers that we have to consider. It's no longer just about price, product, place, promotion. It's also about how do we not only market to consumers, but also market through systems. So it's the evolution of consumer-based journeys combined with system-based journeys. 
that are going to kind of continue to redefine how we actually approach marketing and how we can basically influence various systems instead of just consumers. The final phase is pervasive. As we've built upon this foundation of data through psychographics, then we move into the idea of the various models and algorithms that can help predict behavior. Then we start relying more on these various systems and these various proxies to operate on our behalf. We ultimately reach a state to where these systems are ubiquitous and they're pervasive. So that allows us now to operate across what's called multimodal touch points. So it's no longer just about desktop. It's no longer just about the mobile device. You also have to consider things like touch, things like voice-based experiences, as well as vision-based. So as this idea of pervasive marketing continues to move forward, we're moving towards a time very quickly to where our environment is becoming more intelligent. So what ends up happening is we are then building on this idea of ambient computing to where we are moving throughout our environment and our environment reacts to us. So it's the alignment of all of these specific pieces, whether we're talking about, again, virtual assistants that map to computer vision, such as Google Lens's new product, to where all of these things are laying the foundation for a hyper-connected future through augmented reality. So the intelligent systems, the way in which we interact, again, will become highly pervasive and it'll impact everything that we do and our environments are going to be redefined. So as us as marketers, we have to be prepared to evolve our view of what constitutes the marketing mix. It's no longer just enough to consider product, price, place, and promotion. We have to think about things like psychographics. We have to think about things like predictive APIs. We have to think about this idea of system-based proxies and ultimately, we have to think about what will marketing look like? What will the data exhaust look like as we start moving towards the idea of our environments being intelligent and essentially intelligent systems are pervasive throughout our lives? That's it for today. Thank you again for tuning in. Um, as always, I'm Tom Edwards, the Chief Digital Officer of the Agency of Business at Epsilon. Until next time, have a great day.